So we had the Fed uh, minutes release where the Fed called for a decrease in the Fed funds rate increase for December. So we were anticipating a 0.75 basis point rate hike. Now we're getting a 50 basis point rate hike according to the Fed minutes. And when they say these things, they mean it. It's not up for speculation. We're getting 50 basis points in December. So the question becomes, will we get 50 basis points every Fed meeting moving forward from here on out? If um, inflation continues to move down, the answer will most definitely be yes. We will continue to see as inflation comes down and rates come up to meet inflation, you can expect that the, the Fed will continue to lower those interest rate hikes to 50 basis points, then to 25 basis points. They'll get the Fed rate right above the inflation rate. So you'll have the Fed rate kind of chasing inflation down. So we're kind of, we were chasing inflation up. Now we're slowing down as we meet inflation, and then we'll have the, the Fed funds rate will go slightly above inflation. And as inflation gets pushed down towards that 2%, they'll most likely either they'll pause rate hikes altogether, and then they'll probably end up chasing inflation down um, to 2%, which could cause some major problems. If they do that, we could see inflation bounce and go higher again. Hopefully, They'll get the rate above inflation, maintain it at that level, and then push inflation all the way down to 2%. Then they can start QE. But let's get into it. So the Fed minutes indicates interest rate increases may slow soon. The Federal Reserve recently released the minutes from its November meeting, which showed that it will likely slow the pace of future interest rate hikes. Um increases as early as its upcoming December meeting. It was more important to consider the level at which the Fed ultimately raised interest rates rather than the pace of the rate hikes. So what this essentially means is, you know, we're more focused on how high we're going to bring the rates rather than the pace at which we get to that that height. So essentially, they kind of want to slow it down, going a little too fast on the rate hikes, still going to have rate hikes at every meeting, but those rate hikes will be reduced in size from 75 basis points to 50 to maybe 25, but they'll do it for longer um, than anticipated. So maybe we'll get a rate hike at every um, meeting next year, even if they go as low as 25. So we might get a few 50 basis points hikes and then 25 basis points, but that that's only going to happen if inflation continues to come down if inflation you know bounces back up you could they're going to go right back to 75 for sure they're not playing around so minutes reveal challenges facing the fomc the majority of the committee viewed a smaller but still substantial 50 basis point rate increase likely for the upcoming december meeting so you know at the end of the day they're still raising rates they're still going to be raising rates for the foreseeable future. Yes, there's some uncertainty here, but we're still, you know, relatively hawkish here. So really, there's nothing happening. You know, this is, this is really a nothing burger as far as I'm concerned. They went from the 50 to the 75, back to the 50. I remember when they did the first 50, everybody was freaking out. When they did the first 75, everybody's freaking out. Now they're doing, they went back from 75 to 50. And now everybody wants to get back in. Oh, inflation is going to 2%. They're lowering, they're lowering interest rates. They're going to go 50, then 25, and then they're going to you know, stop raising interest rates altogether. And the next thing you know, they'll be doing QE. You know, it's right around the corner. Go ahead and you know, go all in right now. That's kind of the mentality that some of these retail traders are having right now. It's probably not the best idea. Um, yeah, and that was pretty much it for that. Really nothing, barely even news as far as I'm concerned. 
but as you can see, we got a nice little tick up from Bitcoin. It was due for a bounce here anyway. Currently up about look from the lows, we're up about 11%. So we were due for a bounce anyway. You know, will we go up and touch this 100 day moving average? Probably not. I mean, could we? Yeah, absolutely. This could keep coming down. We could go up and touch it and then maybe break lower. But Honestly, this is a big nothing. I wouldn't be, tr you know, I'm not trading this. Although, as you can see, every time we touch this, this is the 111 day moving average right here. So you can see every time we get close to touching it, we get a massive capitulation. We did touch it here, went down. Touched it here, went down. Um, if we do kind of build up into this moving average, I would be looking for a short position there. But, you know, you can see if we do get up there, we'll be peaked out in the RSI. We'll be coming up, probably peaking out in the MACD, and then definitely get resisted there. That would be a great trade, in my opinion. You know, not, not financial advice, but for me personally, that's what I'll be doing. Um, Come up here, massive resistance at the this moving average, 111 day. We've been rejected once, twice, three times, four times, five times. <laughs> A lot of times. And they always lead to very nice capitulations. So stack that with the RSI. Be a good trade right there. Easy money on that short. <laughs> but uh, that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you soon. Peace.